Hello and welcome to another Hearthstone Guide with me, Tom Randall, where today I am going to be taking you through Hybrid Hunter. And exciting news this week, uh, I'm actually going to be playing the deck that took me up to Legend for the very first time. So, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. Uh, so first, uh, time to explain the deck a little bit to you. So okay, here we go, Hybrid Hype, right up here at the top. And uh, if you guys will remember the very first um, video I did for, for John on his channel um, was a mid-range hunter deck uh, that I was having a lot of success with at the time. And basically this deck is a mix or hybrid of that deck and face hunter. So it's not straight face hunter, uh, but it's not quite the mid-range either. Um, and a lot of people say, well, you know, don't play Face Hunter. You know, it's just it's an awful deck. It's you know all of these things. And actually, the simplest reason not to play Face Hunter is I think it's actually not that great in the meta at the moment. Okay, you get some easy wins, but if it was the best deck, everyone would play it, and it it clearly isn't. This deck plays a little bit differently, uh, in that your aim is to go for early board control. And then at some point you just flick the switch, and then you're going all for face. And a lot of the skill in playing this deck is knowing when, you, when you're looking to stop trading your minions, and when to make that move to just go kill. Alright, let's look at this deck, and see how, it, uh, how it's sort of taking elements from both the face hunter and the mid-range. Well... Up top here, it looks really, really face hunter. So you've got two abusive sergeants, which isn't necessarily a big giveaway because they also help you trade up, but two leponomes, a staple of the face hunter matchup. Not a fantastic card on its own, but the death rattle of two damage, really, really useful in that race. Glaive Zuka, another typical um, face hunter card. Just great for that early damage. But what's this? We're playing two freezing traps instead of an explosive trap. So that already is the first sign that something's a little bit different from this to the normal face hunter deck. Uh, instead of getting just sort of guaranteed damage in, it's more of a tempo move, more of an early board control move. So if you can get an early mad scientist on there and a freezing trap, then that, that helps you fantastically. Great card against a lot of the mid rangey stuff, uh, fantastic against druids, for example. Okay, quick shot, could be an either deck, Haunted Creeper, great staple hunter card, one iron beak owl, for clearing up taunts, all kinds of wonderful things, double knife juggler, double mad scientist, they should be in all of them, only one eagle horn bow. Well, we're only running two secrets, so that makes a little bit of sense, so it's taking a little bit away from the mid ranger uh, kind of thing. Two Animal Companion, They're, they should be in both decks. Kill Command, same thing. Unleash the Hounds, obviously fantastic synergy with everything, including the Knife Juggler and all sorts of other wonderful things. But again, only one Arcane Golem, so that's been cut. Only one Wolf Rider. And now we start to see what the cards are that make this the hybrid. Uh, so we've cut a few of the aggressive things, uh, like the Arcane Golem, like the Wolf Rider, um, maybe another quick shot, who knows. Um, and we've got some high-end cards here. We've got two piloted shredders, a Lotheb, and a Savannah high main. And the idea is that these cards come in after you've uh, gained board control, and they give you consistent damage for a few turns, especially after they kind of identify you're playing face hunter, um, they use their early removal, and uh, then they regret it, because you have these cards. Uh, I love, I mean, Savannah Homain is obviously one of the strongest cards in the game. Lotheb can absolutely lock games in your favour. In fact, Lotheb is the card I played to go into Legend against uh, a Druid. I had board control, I had damage incoming next turn, played Lotheb, was just like, well, you're not clearing my board, I'm going to get the damage in. You know, it, it guarantees the win. Um, yeah, uh, so this deck plays really interestingly. Um, it's not the hardest deck in the world to play, but it's not the easiest either, because it's all about knowing how to make those intelligent trades, how to mulligan your hands correctly, 
Uh, here we go, look, there's the confirmation of legend. I have dipped down a little bit uh, in recent days. I have been trying to expand the repertoire of decks that I play. Uh, so I've been playing a bit of Handlock, learning how to do that. Um, and Dragon Warrior. I'm really liking this deck, I have to say. Uh, I've gone back to just playing a, a mid-range Control Paladin as well. None of this dragon stuff. It just wasn't working. Uh, so, gone are the dragons and in other quartermasters and all of those wonderful Paladin cards. But the deck of the day is the Hybrid Hunter. And that's, uh, that's Prototypes Hybrid Hunter. I believe it was initially his deck. It's been very, very popular. And one of the reasons I like this and what, I was, what was actually happening when I was laddering up is... I went all the way from rank 3 to rank 1 with the mid-range zoo deck. Uh, and then suddenly I got maybe 2 wins away from Legend. And I lost like 5 games out of 6. And I was just like, well, I'm up against a whole bunch of things that are just like not quite hard countering me. But, you know, doing very well. Anyway, let me, let me come back to that in a second. I just want to mulligan correctly. Playing Mage. Silence could be really good for a mad scientist. So I think I'm going to keep that. Tossing out the arcane golem and the unleash the hounds. Do I want to get rid of a quick shot? Mm, kind of want that a little bit later on. I'd like a one drop or at least another two drop. So let's just do that. Because I can't play this on, on turn one. But I do want to hold on to it just in case of mad scientists. Hmm. Well, we might be passing turn one here. And then the freezing trap comes as well. Obviously, we don't particularly like that. So I could coin out a freezing trap. But I don't think so. I think what I want to do is coin out uh, an eagle horn bow. And then maybe... Hmm... Maybe a wolf rider and then freezing trap. It's always good to start planning ahead a little bit here. If he plays uh, a mad scientist, I'm going to silence it. Alright, so there we go. be really interesting to see what version we're playing against. We have absolutely no confirmation just now. Okay, let me just think. If I silence this, he can ping, hit me to the face. Um... But okay, that is most of his turn taken up, so go on then. So yeah, uh, but yeah, I was losing game after game, but um, one of the things in the current meta is that it's very difficult for decks to be good against both Hunter and Zoo. Uh, for example, at the moment, this could easily be... Um, Freeze Mage, which I believe should be really, really good against Zoo, but less strong against Face Hunter. Although this isn't straight Face Hunter, this is hybrid, so uh, I don't really know how that will get on. Alright, what next? Eagle Horn Bow looks kind of sensible. I don't see any reason to do anything funky here. Yeah, we're just going to go Eagle Horn Bow. And we're not a Face Hunter. We are going to clear that. So that uh, if I have something like a piloted shredder, I can just play that on the next turn and it's not in danger of being taken out. Alright, so this looks a lot more like uh, Flame Waker Tempo Mage. Secret. Okay. So it could be Counterspell or Mirror Entity. Could be a lot of things, but... I think most likely it's just a mirror entity. What do I want to mirror entity? Well, we could go knife juggler and then coin out this. Does that make sense? Hmm, I'm trying to think about this one. I Does Freezing Trap make any sense?
Right, let's play the coin first to see if it's counter spell. And then we play this card. And we get that. And there you go. So, we don't get to buff up our Eagle Horn, but board control is really important right now. Okay, I'm kind of worried about either Frostbolt or, um, what's the other one? Flame Cannon. So at the moment, I am way behind in this race. With no Savannah High Main to play next. Really, really want to take this card out. Is there any way I can, like, unleash the hounds? Do that? No. God, that's a terrible turn. You know, I almost have to take that out. I'm just going to do it. Because I'm kind of relying on this card coming in and saving me. I have to watch out a little bit because I'm already down to 19 health. And... Yeah, see what he gets from the unstable portal. Oh, that's a potted shredder. And an unbound elemental. Uh, second freezing trap. Not drawing well this time. Well... Got to play that card. Not allowed to play both freezing traps. And then go to face. I think this game is reminding me why I switched to playing other decks. But, honestly, this this is exactly the deck that uh, took me from rank 2 after I plummeted down from a couple of wins from Legend. Uh, I basically switched and went something like 10 and 3 uh, up to Legend. All very comfortable. Alright. Well, it's all about the tempo. So, okay, he gets a little bit of extra value out of his piloted shredder, but he doesn't know if that's snake trap or explosive. He'll probably be a bit confused right now. Although, I kind of do look a little look a bit... Well, I look exactly what I am, which is um, Hybrid Hunter. But okay, we get rid of that. So we've finally taken over board control. It's only turn seven. Um, but oh well. Hey, why did he do that that way around? Surely it's that followed by that. Yeah, craziness. Right. I think we're just playing out our hand here. So... Play the second one of these. Definitely going in like that. Have to take this card out. And here you can sort of see the point of the deck. Uh, I worked really hard to establish board control early on against this Tempo Mage. And these freezing traps have been a massive part of that. Alright, if there's a fireball or something here... I'm um, not sort of... Not fire... Yeah, fireball is what I was worried about. But okay, it's arcane missiles. Uh, this could be very uh, ugly. Really need to take this card out. See what I top deck here. He's not going to attack with this, I don't think. Um, it's like... Am I playing two different traps? He's not sure. Uh, that's not the best. Uh, do I have to take this card out? I mean, it might serve for me just to go face here. 
Because what, what am I getting him down to? I'm getting him down to 6. I'm getting him down to 13. Um, he's gonna break the thing with this card. You can take that out and go forward. But it does mean he can just ping. No, oh, I think I need the damage. I mean, at some stage I've got to have a winning mechanic. And I'm not going to top deck enough damage. Um... I think it just took me too long to get board control in this game. So yeah, so he's going to pop the freezing trap with the mana worm. Um, and then, I don't know, the one saving... Ooh, maybe he feels that this card is more value? No, I can't believe that, even if he's got a couple of spells in hand. It's going to be very cheap to play out. It's only a three mana, mana worm. Obviously it'll come back with its original stats. Um, so he's not just killing me, so he doesn't have a fireball in his hand, because he would have lethal. Ooh, he can now use that uh, fire blast on my minions. Well, that sucks. But yeah, I think he's too, too far ahead at this point. I don't know if there's anything that... I can top deck. I'd need another quick shot, and then something else fantastic. Well, I don't see what this could be. Uh, so I've got seven damage. Can take that out. Ah, it's just all over, isn't it? So yeah. Actually, this uh, Archmaid Ant Antonidas deck looks very similar to the one that I'm playing. Although I'm not, I don't have one currently with uh, Arcane Missiles. I'm playing it with Mirror Image instead. I believe I'm playing the same deck list that Strife Crow is playing at the moment. Anyway, let's carry on with this Hybrid Hunter and see if we can get some slightly better starts. Now, the really terrible thing there was we're up against a Tempo Mage and we just lost the Tempo battle early on. Uh, that's what happens when you have to play out freezing traps instead of mad scientists. Ooh, a Priest. Don't know if I've played this matchup before. I mean, I've obviously had Hunter against Priest, but not as Hybrid Hunter. Where are my one drops? I don't have the coin, so I don't... Yeah. Sometimes we just don't run well. Greetings, traveler. I think most of the time I am just going to knife juggle on turn two. Greetings. I mean, I could silence that, but it's too weak. I think, because he's just going to kill it. He'll still have a 1-1 one, one on board. Okay, so he's not getting the card draw, but I think I need I think I think need to play this card out. And, you know, hope that he's not able to kill it with a, you know, Shadow Word Pain or more likely a Holy Smite. But okay. Happy enough with that. Uh, seems fairly clear now. I want to play a Animal Companion. Just let's have a think here. There's a small chance we're able to take this away. Alright, so if we pinged there, I think I'd probably have hit it. But that would allow him to take it out. So I kind of think we wanted the other, the other animals, but you know, it's fine. Alright, so Circle of Healing now. Oh, Light of the Nari. Yeah. In the light's name. All right. I think we need to start getting some board control. How best to do that? And what I'm really hoping for is a ping on his 
Northshire Cleric, and then I can play a Freezing Trap. Alright, but that goes to face. Do I want to play the Freezing Trap anyway? I'm not going to go there. The alternative is to silence this card. But I think I want to go with the Tempo play, which is the Freezing Trap. And save the silence for a taunt. He has already used his coin, so he's not coining out a sludge belcher. Ah. Uh, what I'm really hoping he doesn't have here is uh, Shadow Madness. If he steals this and hits into that. But he'll have to still block out the freezing trap. That's interesting. He can shadow madness and then have it back in his hand. But no, that's that's a big waste of the shadow madness. So I think he's playing this, confirming freezing trap, and then he's going to shadow madness my... Oh, that's annoying. I have that in the middle of my screen. There we go. Go on, go away. Uh, don't know what's causing this. Maybe if I sort of minimise and go back in. Will that work? No, that didn't do anything. I hope I haven't just lost internet connection or something. Let me just check. Is the internet still working? Yeah, internet's still working fine. Uh, I think I'm going to try closing and going back in. Let me just see what this does. Uh, hopefully this will just fix all of the issues and it will bring me back into the game. And we'll be able to work out what happened. Alright, something happened while we were away. All right, time moves quickly. There we go. Uh, uh pass and there. That I think that wasn't a terrible play. Yeah. I mean, I was trying to clear stuff out of the way in case he had, um, what was I worried about? Uh, Holy Nova. And okay, irritating, he burns the freezing trap, but that's fine. Alright, let's just keep going for damage here. Got him down to 70. He does have a lot of cards in his hand. So, that's not making me feel particularly happy. Because he's got all kinds of... Because the pre decks are very, very uh, combo-based. And okay. Looks like we are going 0 for 2. Wonder if there was a better thing we could have done at any point. Guess I want to clear that. Gonna hold on to my silence. Feels too likely he plays a sludge belcher on this turn or something like that. Or even Holy Nova. I wouldn't have got anything extra. You know, at least I can't I really desperately need uh, that and kill command. I need my second uh, Savannah High Main, but yeah, just no completely run out of cards here. Alright, well, guess I'm silencing that. And then... Thank you. 
You know, I might as well keep doing damage if I can. That belongs in a museum. Alright, that feels like it might be the straw that breaks the camel's back. Um... He's probably done that in the wrong order, but not that it matters. And mm, well, we're gonna keep going face her. Uh, at least he can only be running one house and drones. Got him down to ten. Uh, is there any way back into this game? Not that I can think of. I mean, it's Savannah High. It's like quick shot. The Harrison Jones, Savannah High main, keep going face, but yeah. I don't know. I was really hyped about this deck. Alright, well played. But, um, since I got into Legends, I've been moving much more in the control direction. Trying to play Dragon Warrior, and. Alright, let's. And Handlock and that kind of stuff. But alright, let's see if we can play one more game before we go into a quick break and, uh, and yeah. Because, yeah, what was it? It was about on Monday? Yeah, it was Monday evening that I got into Legend. And this deck was running absolutely fantastically then. But, seems like a couple of days later, you know, obviously a lot of that's RNG, a lot of it's the other decks that you're happening to match up against, but it just doesn't feel quite as strong as I was hoping. And, um, I actually don't enjoy playing this deck as much as uh, the Flame Waker and stuff like that. Okay, this looks much more like it. Do I want... so I can go... I could play this on turn two. I think I only want one Pilot of Treader. Because it would be absolutely perfect if I could have um, a one drop there. Preferably Leper Gnome, I guess. Right. Um, something's telling me I should play out the knife juggle here. Um... Just for the extra damage. I'm not really that familiar with what decks everyone is running as Shaman. But I think he's got not all that much removal. I mean, I guess Mech Shaman is currently the most one. Okay, so he... He plays this turn and deals with it that way. I guess that's alright. And then we play a Mad Scientist. Definitely want to get that out before any of my freezing traps start appearing in my hand. Okay. Odd. I guess this is some kind of mid-range deck. Well, that makes this turn easy. Let's see if he's got an efficient way of dealing with uh, Misha. Wow, Hex. I wonder if he's going to regret that decision when um, when he sees the rest of my cards. Well, I don't see a good reason not to continue playing out my cards. This looks far more like how uh, Hybrid Hunter is supposed to go. Look at that mana curve. Lotherb and Savannah High main to follow up. Alright, I really want my freezing trap now. Oh wow. 
Okay. Alright, I am absolutely 100% making this move. There's my freezing trap. Out comes Lotheb for no spells. And we are going face here because, you know, we've got a freezing trap out. Down to 19 health. And, you know, we've been doing board things. Yeah, he is not going to be happy about that. A 6-6, six, six, back to the hand. Absolutely nothing. All that card did was uh, cause him to ba burn one mana. Alright, well, we've got a choice here. We can do nine damage to him straight away. You know, cause obviously that's a fantastic trade, but are we past the stage of wanting to trade? Nine damage. Uh... 9, 13, 14, 15, 16, 18. Okay, I think we just go all to face here. So we go Glaivesuka first. And so that's 10, 12, 15, 17. That's right, isn't it? 10, 12. Oh, I don't know. Who cares? I mean, obviously the trade was fantastic, but just take him down to two health. He can heal up if he wants to, but we should be able to get him fairly quickly. Are we going to win this game on 30 health? It's a... Definitely a, a contrasting set of games, but this is this is what can happen if your deck opens out. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we played everything on curve, and uh, that's as easy a game as you could possibly ever hope to win. Uh, yeah, I don't I don't like mid range uh, shaman right now. As much as fire guard destroyer is a fantastic card, but. Yeah, there you get to see where board control really uh, exerts itself. Um, Freezing Trap was able to perfectly uh, target one of his mid-range minions, a 4-drop. And we were able to play Lothab on turn 5 to lock in the board control that we'd established and cruise to the easiest of victories. Alright, I'm going to be back with part 2, where hopefully we can continue to win uh, after a slightly rocky start. Don't go anywhere.